Let's see how to wire the interface relay. This here is the interface relay. That's the positive of the coil and that's the negative of the coil. And these two are the terminals of the contact. So when I energize this, these two will turn on. So let's wire it up. Positive of my power supply goes to positive of the coil and negative of the power supply goes to the negative of the coil. Now I'm going to drop the voltage to four volts and then turn it on. This light here will turn on when the relay clicks in. Now it's a very small relay, so it'll be very hard to hear, but I'm going to yell out when I hear it. So at four volts, it's not working. 4.5, not working. Five volts, not working. At 5.9, it clicks in. So unlike the open relay where it needed 7.7 .7 volts to kick in, this one kicked in at 5.9 or 6 volts. Let's see how to wire a DPDT relay. This here is a DPDT relay which is 24 volts. These two, con these two connections are connected to the coil of the relay and all the others are contacts. So we'll concentrate on the coil for now. Positive of the supply goes to positive of the relay and negative of the supply goes to negative of the relay. Now this is a 24 volt relay so I need to increase this voltage. Let's start at 11 volts and find out the pull in voltage of this relay. When I turn this on there is a very small movement inside the coil but the coil still hasn't connected so I'm going to keep increasing it. I'm going to go to 11.5 nothing nothing ah at 13 volts this relay pulls in so that's my pickup or pull in voltage for the DPDT relay let's see how to wire the 24 volt contactor this here is a 24 volt contactor the red terminal on this side is the positive of the, term, the coil and the black terminal here is the negative of the coil and all other terminals are the contacts, uh, contact terminals but we'll only look at the coil at the moment. The positive side of the power supply goes to the positive side of the contact the coil and the negative of the power supply goes to the negative side of the contact the coil. If I turn it on, you see how nothing happens. I'm going to increase the voltage to find out the pull-in voltage of this contactor. At 8 volts, nothing. At 10 volts, still nothing. 12 volts, still nothing. 13, nothing. At 14 volts, or 14.4 volts, the contactor pulls in. I hope all this made sense. If you found this video useful, please like it. And if you want regular updates of my videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.